Jessie Test wrote to us and shared her story about how she barely survived growing up in a broken home, living between two parents who never spoke to each other, and how she merely existed in a loveless, intimidating place she sadly called home. My parents were divorced quite early. Um, I was around five when my dad left and did not come back. My mom was um, pretty ill, and I can see that now she was very violent and abusive. Some of the hardest things about living in the house with my mom were that she was very controlling, very demanding. The motto in her house was, be reasonable, do it my way. And yet, I never was able to do it her way. I never was able to clean enough, cook enough, be enough, perform enough, have the right attitude, the right facial expression, the right language, the right grammar. It never was enough. I hated my life. Unfortunately, that hatred turned to hating myself. I smiled and acted like everything was fine, and on the inside, I was just raging, burning with rage. But I was too terrified to show that to my mom because I would get into trouble. Food really had a grip on me, and somehow the food and the relationship with my mom were very closely intertwined. The more important food was to her, the less important it was to me. And I came up with a really creative idea, I thought, of um, binging and purging. So in the worst of times, I was down to a diet of Diet Pepsi, pretzels, and apples. I was on a very bad road of destruction. I was running a lot, um, not eating very much. My weight was very low. Um, I don't think I realized how run down, I, run down is not even the right word, malnourished and um, in incredibly poor health I had gotten myself. Jessie was hospitalized for over six months, and she told us how music had a profound effect on her recovery. Music was really um, a saving grace for me. It changed my whole attitude. I was really big into Phil Collins. I really liked The Who. Um, Genesis was one of my favorite bands, of course. I'd gone to see them in concert, and um, Pink Floyd. Um, just music was a big, big uh, part of my life. It was not a shock when my dad and sister took all of my CDs to a used music store and got a couple bucks for each one of them. And then they bought with the money a lot of Christian artists. Uh, I had the CD player on night and day. Uh, I had the repeat program function, so it would just play again and again and again. I had a hard time sleeping because of anxiety, terror, fear, uncertainty, um, pain, and would wake up and listen. The words and the, the songs um, reached my heart and softened my heart and changed my heart. And I just asked the Lord, to, Jesus, to walk with me, just to walk with me. And I think that was, again, one of the most low points I'd ever had. But it actually ended up being one of the points that I will never forget um, because God walked with me and got me through that time. I still am teary <laughs> when I hear that song because that song, my comfort, my shelter, my tower of refuge and strength, in spite of everything, you are, God is, He is, my comfort, my shelter. I'm not really sure why Shout to the Lord has become such a loved song around the earth. But I do know that it is a song that people identify with. I think it's simple, it's easy to sing, it's triumphant, it gives people hope. And the last line, it says that nothing compares to the promise that I have in you, in God. And that is the truth for all of us. Nothing compares to his promise on our lives. And I think that in itself gives people a lot of hope.